Good afternoon, everyone. How are you today, my little explorers? I hope you're doing well. It's science class, and today we have a new lesson, and we're going to explore and learn new things. That's why I want you to be ready for the lesson of today. So in this term, we learned a lot of things about landforms and landscapes, right? And today, we are going to talk about bodies of water. So if you look at the picture, you can guess what is the lesson will be about. I think the lesson will be about rivers. Well then. So, before talking about our lesson, I want your help to read the day and date. So, what is the day? Tuesday. And what's the date? May 3, 2020. So, at the beginning of the lesson, you said that we're going to learn about rivers. And it's true. But, we're going to learn also something maybe it will be the first time for you to hear it it's Stream, streams streams well done so <clears throat> our lesson today will be about rivers and streams wow so you are gonna learn new things today that's why i want you to listen carefully and also pay attention something else i want you to get your science book because we're going to use it later on so get your science book and also grab some pencils. So everyone, let's read the objectives together. By the end of the lesson, we will be able to identify some bodies of waters like rivers and streams. And we can differentiate between rivers and streams. So everyone, I want you to look at these pictures and tell me what do you see. Let's go to the first one. I see a river. It looks like a river, but it's not a river. We call it stream. So everyone, the stream and the river, we can say are the same, but the river is longer and deeper than the stream. They have the same shape. Okay, everyone, so everyone, as you can see, this is a stream, and here, as you can see, this is a river. Well done. And you can, uh, can you tell me where is the river going? To the ocean. To the ocean, well done. So sometimes, everyone, the, um, let's say the river ends in the Ocean. In the ocean. So let's read what's written over here. Look at the photo. Use a pencil to trace the river as it flows into the ocean. How are ponds and lakes similar? So everyone, we have learned in the previous lesson how are ponds and lakes similar. I want you to use your background knowledge and try to remember the information or the things that we have learned about ponds and lakes. So let's read the, uh, the answer. They both have fresh water and land all around. Well done. And something else I want to add, also the stream and the river, let me say both of them have fresh water. So let's read question number three. How are some bodies of water connected? So let's uh, read the answer. Some streams flow into rivers. Some rivers flow into oceans. So the question was, how are some bodies of water connected? Connected. You know what does uh, the word connected mean? When things are brought together. Well done. So everyone, some streams flow into rivers. Some rivers flow into oceans. I'm going to draw this and show it to you. Okay, so everyone, I'm going to draw a river. This is everyone. 
R river as you can see. Okay, so this is a river. Okay. This is a body of water, let's say. Okay, this is a body of water. As you can see, it's long and also deep. Now I'm going to draw the stream. The stream is smaller than the smaller than the river. Well done. And sometimes they are connected together like this. See? This is the stream and the stream will come out from the from the river. Okay, everyone? Let's draw some green areas around where's the green color okay so let's uh oh want the green color so let's draw some areas around okay everyone we can call this a landscape okay I'm trying to draw a river and stream as you can see let me also add some some flowers okay everyone hmm, I'm trying to draw some flowers okay and also let me draw fish. Okay. Here are the fish. Okay. So as you can see, rivers and streams are connected. Connected, they are the same. Uh, both of them have fresh water. Okay. And they are also long. But the difference is that rivers are deeper and streams are not that much deep. Deeper and longer. And the river sometimes, um, let's say, finishes where? In the ocean. ocean. So when I say connected, okay, when I say connected, the stream is coming out from the river and sometimes let me go to the blue color and imagine here is the okay this is purple color i want blue color this is the ocean everyone this is the ocean the ocean okay so now as you can see they are connected so what do you see over here I see a lot of beautiful rivers and around them are beautiful green lands. Why do you think around the river there are uh, a lot of green areas and lands? I think it's because of the river. Because without the river, maybe there will be no green lands and it will only be a desert. And because plants uh, need water to grow. And as you can see, here are a lot of water that's why there are a lot of green areas around so everyone in the past people used to live near the rivers and let's mention the people who were uh, living in egypt years and years uh, ago the pharaohs i don't know if you heard about them they used to live near the nile river in egypt Okay, now everyone, I want you to watch um, these videos about rivers, okay? And when you come back, we will continue the lesson. If you are watching the video, you can find the links in the description below. So everyone, let's read um, this slide together. I need your help. 
A, ri a river is a large flowing body of fresh water that flows across land and usually empties into a sea or ocean. Well done. So a river is a large flowing body of fresh water. And everyone, the river flows across land, as you can see, okay, and usually uh, goes to the sea or ocean. Let's continue reading. Fresh water can be found in many other bodies of water too, such as ponds, streams, and swamps. Okay, well then, here it's talking about the fresh water because as you know, the water of the sea or let me say the ocean is very salty while the water of the rivers, streams, ponds and lakes are, are fresh. Let's see what's written over here. What is a river? A river is fresh water flowing across the surface of the land, usually to the sea. A river is always changing. One day it may be beautiful and peaceful, and another it may be overflowing rivers change along their course. So everywhere in the first part we talked about uh, that uh, the river um, has a fresh water, and over here we're talking about something else, which is a river is always changing, sometimes it's cool, and peaceful and sometimes it's overflowing and dangerous. A river is a body of fresh water that flows or moves. Water also flows in a stream, but a stream is smaller than a river. So everyone, as I said to you so far, the river and the stream are the same, but the difference is that a river is deeper and a stream is not, and that both of them also have fresh water. I'm talking about the difference. So both of them have fresh water. Well done. But what is the difference between uh, two of them? The river is deeper and longer than the stream. Well done. So let's read what's written over here. Note. A stream moves in a constant motion like the water from a faucet. So every, everyone, compare and contrast between the river and the stream. So everyone, do you remember what did we say about rivers and streams? They are the same, okay, in one point. What is it? They have to, both of them have fresh water. Well done. So let's write over here. Fresh. Can you give me the spelling? F R E A A. Oops, it's S. Yeah. H W A T E R. Fresh water, okay? Here, uh, we can say the stream and the river are the same because both of them have fresh water. So let's go to the things that are different. The rivers um, are deeper. Well done. And longer. Longer. Okay. Here. That streams are not deep and not that long. Not deep, okay, and not also that long. Well done. So everyone, filling in the following sentences with the words between brackets. So what are the words? Let's read them together. Rivers, salty, precious. So, let's read question number one. Most of the water on earth is yeah rivers no salty salty why because half of in our last lesson or a few weeks before we took that water is 
mostly like earth is mostly filled with salty water and where can you find this salty water in the ocean or sea well done let's go to number two i can find fresh water in rivers well that in rivers and also we can say lakes ponds and streams last one water is precious why do you think it's precious because every living thing in the world needs water if we don't have water we won't be able to survive water is very important very important that's why our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam teaches us to use the water wisely and not to waste it so everyone i want you to write one fact that you have learned about rivers today think about one fact or one thing that you have learned today about rivers so this is our lesson for today and we have learned about rivers and streams right remember they are the same both of them have fresh water also they have the same shape but the river is longer and deeper than the stream so have a nice day everyone study well and i will see you tomorrow i love you